Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. Several scientific studies have revealed that feeding the world comes with costs, one of which is deteriorating air quality. A white paper released in May by the University of Minnesota shows that of the 100,000 premature deaths in the U.S. each year from particulate matter, nearly 18,000 of them can be attributed directly to agriculture. And we also know that agriculture is a major contributor to reduced air quality. But what people haven't known is how individual foods or diets contribute to reduced air quality. So we set off to uh, fill in the gap of knowledge. The study used data from the Environmental Protection Agency and the United States Department of Agriculture to calculate emissions from agriculture on the county level based on both the types of crops and animals grown, as well as their proximity to the nearby population. The study looked at nearly 170 agricultural products and found that animal production was responsible for 80% of all agricultural particulate matter. Three different computer models arrived at similar results Ammonia was estimated to be the largest source of atmospheric particulate matter from agriculture. So one thing that can be done in crop production is to uh, reduce the amount of ammonia that's released from nitrogen fertilization. The authors of the study believe consumers can drive a reduction in particulate production by changing their eating habits. We point out in the paper, well, you get most of the benefit uh, just by uh, either changing the, the type of animal products you're consuming or by consuming uh, a, a little less. So you can get you know, 80, 90 percent of the way there just by making those, I don't want to say subtle, but, but substantive changes in, in your diet. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association told The Washington Post the study was riddled with data gaps and the methodology was questionable. For Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs.